Welcome to Hope Harbor Zoo. Yes, welcome back everyone. I know it's been quite some time, but we're finally back in Hope Harbor Zoo. I hope you guys are enjoying the conservation DLC. I know so many of you guys are probably here from the uh, city conservation series, or you guys are just here on your own. Either way, welcome everyone. This is Hope Harbor Zoo. This is our ZSU Zoo, in case if you guys are new here. ZSU, uh, I c you guys could probably check out the other videos on that. It's essentially an online zoo building community where we're able to trade with each other, where we're able to buy stuff from stores and auctions. It's a wicked fun time, and I can't recommend it to you guys enough. But today, we are finally building for our moose. So, we recently got these guys in a store a little while ago. Um, we were able to get them. It was a steep competition, but we were lucky enough to get them. I have to give a huge shout out to my buddy Croco for being able to purchase them for me. Uh, he is a really wonderful friend. I'm so happy he was able to help me out there. But yeah, so I really wanted to get Moose because be it that we moved to Maine, we kind of had to get their very iconic animal. Well, we got both of them. We have both lobsters and we have Moose. So we're pretty much your typical Maine Zoo at this point. So what we're working on over here is a beautiful big old viewing gallery. I really wanted this to feel really nice and very rural. And that's exactly the vibe that we're going to be going for for this entire section. So you may notice that there's nothing really next to this exhibit. That is because we are building in another far corner of this build. I'll tell you what, I uh, I really do like building like this, but it kind of sucks that, you know, not everything is connected to each other just yet. I do like planning for the future, but it is a little sad to see when uh, not everything is close to each other. But once we do get some bigger ticket animals, we should be able to fill in those gaps. But what our whole goal is up here, and you can see me start to do some of the aquatic foliage, um, our entire goal over here is to have this section be called Moose Town, Maine. Uh, this is essentially going to serve as our North America section for the most part. Uh, we're going to have a few like North American species scattered all throughout the zoo, but this section specifically will cover Maine. So it's going to cover animals that were once living in Maine, such as cougars, as well as animals that currently still do live in there, such as moose. I'm planning on getting porcupines. Mole is actually going to be one of my species that I'm going to be gunning for uh, recently. Um, they're not really in captivity. There's only a couple holders of moles worldwide, believe it or not. But my goal, at least for this build, is to get moles uh, as kind of like a star animal for our little section over here. Uh, I, that's a completely an unintentional pun right there because the star knows mole. But still, uh, I also really do love this fencing. Uh, you guys may notice I'm using some pieces that aren't publicly available just yet. These are part of the Outback pack. I am putting the finishing touches on that recently with Nick. Uh, I do gotta make an entire trailer for it. Uh, that's gonna take quite some time, so if anyone wants to help out with that, please help me out with some, like, backdrops and stuff. I, like, I'm creatively spent. Uh, but essentially what this section will be, it's gonna be very rural, it's gonna be log cabin, uh, and you can see me already starting to bring in these beautiful colors uh, very much different from the rest of the zoo We're working with some very beautiful browns some nice like kind of uh, go away greens and that beautiful kind of reddish kind of color that you'll see like as a little bit of a highlight every now and again and of course for moose they do require a big exhibit so that's exactly what we're working on over here I'm having it be nice and expansive for these guys of course, moose are some of, you know, they're relatively rare in captivity. If you guys do have moose near you, uh, consider yourself lucky because they're only held in like less than 10 zoos in the United States, which is really crazy. I know over in Europe, they're extremely common, even though you guys call them elk over there for some reason. Uh, that's not an elk, guys. That is quite literally a moose. Uh, but still, regardless, uh, I really wanted to have this exhibit feel nice, big, natural, uh, just really, really, really beautiful uh, in the end. And I'm making a good use out of the new grasses that we just got. So I'm using a combination of periwinkle. I'm using this new Yorkshire fog grass. This grass is incredible for making these beautiful landscapes. Uh, it really does have that nice kind of rugged kind of feel to it. And it's perfect for a moose habitat like this since they are 
Browsers? Yes, that's a term. Uh, they don't really eat grass all that much. When you're a browser, you more so eat stuff off of trees and off of bushes. But when you're a grazer, you eat stuff that's completely on the ground. I believe moose can actually eat some grass, if I'm not mistaken, but they do prefer to eat from bushes and stuff like that. And of course, I wanted to give them a nice amount of water as well. Moose are very uh, adapted to the aquatic lifestyle. In cases, uh, they've even been documented to dive underwater in order to reach some aquatic plants, which is very, very exciting to see. Very interesting to even learn about. And you may notice I snuck a little Bigfoot statue in here. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed it yet, but that was made by, by, made by my buddy Squatch. Um, he has that on the workshop. If you just look up Sasquatch, you can find him. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted to sneak a Bigfoot in here because I want this like kind of hidden Bigfoot vibe to be behind this entire build. I feel like that'd be a super fun thing to have, especially with hiding like little Bigfoot things in every single exhibit, whether it be like, you know, the actual silhouette of Bigfoot for like the bigger animals or even like a Bigfoot track, like a Bigfoot print. Uh, in some of like, you know, the porcupine exhibit if we ever do get them back. I actually did have porcupines a while ago. I regret trading them out, unfortunately. But we're making our way throughout here and doing our final details. We have a couple minutes left in the actual speed build itself. But I did want to give these guys a beautiful big old barn. Uh, really simple. I really wanted it to blend in with the rest of the landscape. A lot of this island will kind of consist of this beautiful log cabin theming, which I think will turn out very well in the end. I'm very happy with like how it's all coming out so far. And we still have a long ways to go, so I'm very excited to get working on that. But you can see right here I did want to make sure that we gave these guys a big old barn door. So we work on that and we also include a guest gate. Not a guest gate. Having guests in here would be quite a lawsuit for Hope Harbor. Lord knows we can't even afford that. Uh, we spent all of our money on the Jaguar enclosure, which you guys will see relatively soon, I think, this week. Uh, I'm putting the finishing touches on that right now, on our outdoor enclosure for that, at least, and then we'll have outdoor enclosures for pretty much all of our other South American animals. I'm just trying to finish up the sections and really bring Hope Harbor up to its full potential as I kind of make my way through here. Because keep in mind, we have a lot of small animals. We have pretty much everything on display. Uh, my buddy Forge did trade with me to get some uh, African savanna animals uh, for Hope Harbor Zoo. So that's gonna be wicked fun to build for. But we're essentially just trying to make the best of what we have over here. Uh, a lot of plans for the future for Hope Harbor Zoo will contain a lot more bigger animals, a lot more bigger ticket animals, just trying to work those guys in. But in the meantime, you guys can check out the cinematics because look where we are, the cinematics. Hope you guys enjoyed this build. It was super fun to put together. Unfortunately, recently, I've kind of hit a creative wall and this is kind of like the result of that but i still hope you guys enjoyed this regardless doing like all these beautiful landscapes is always such a nice change of pace for me because i oftentimes love to build those hyper themed exhibits and stuff like that but it's been really nice just being able to take it down a notch really slow it down and work on something like this so i do want to thank you guys so much for showing up today really hope you guys are enjoying the hope harbor series as it is so far uh, and yeah, I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.